Hello out there, it's crazy ass Cajun Coogan, coming back at you with a crazy ass video on this channel, as you know we talk about all kinds of shit, yeah I mean all kinds of crazy ass shit, you understand me? In the goddamn way, uh, Cave and Coogan got another little story for you all. You understand me? This little story happened at the gym the other day. As I mentioned in uh, my last video, Cave and Coogan been kind of out for the count for a little while. You understand me? Cave and Coogan went down hard on the ground, right in the middle of the fucking road, yeah, man, took a hard-ass fall, yeah, man, but anyway, um, Cage and Coogan is starting to heal up a little bit, and, uh, feeling a little better, so, uh, I went ahead and started back on my, uh, gym routine, you understand, man, I got back on that today, you know, so I can start healing up a little quicker and uh, get back to ass-swinging form for you guys, you understand, man, so Cage and Coogan is going to be swinging that ass real soon, yeah, man, in the damn way, um, I got back into the goddamn gym today, and, um, I got on that little old stationary bike, you know, I still can't do a whole lot in that gym right now, but, you know, I'm coming back slowly, you hear me? Yeah, I got on that little old stationary bike, you know, and I was pillowing my fat ass on that motherfucker, you hear me? And I was pillowing and pillowing, and, um, on the bike next to me, this gal came and uh, sat down right in the bike right next to me. I mean, I mean there's about 15, 15 stationary bikes there, every one of them empty. And she comes sat her ass right next to Cage and Cookie on the bike right next to me. You know what I mean? Now, I seen this gal in there several times and everything, you know, but uh, I never really spoke to her or nothing, you know what I mean, but um, she comes sat right next to me and um, she started talking and started saying, well, I ain't seen you in here for a little while, and I said, well, yeah, I've been out for a while, you know, I had a little accident, I fell, and uh wasn't able to get in here like I normally do, you know what I mean? And she goes, well, I'm sorry to hear that, but, um, you know, she said, uh, you know, I'm glad to see you back in here, you know, getting getting your shit back together, you know what I mean? And I said, oh, yeah, I will be getting my shit back together now, here we go. But anyway, uh, she just kept talking and kept talking, and, uh, I was thinking to myself, this is the first time this guy ever spoke to me. You know, it's the first time I ever spoke to her. But she just kept on and kept on. Like she was kind of moving in on Cage and Cooking a little bit, you know what I mean? She must like this fine ass, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, I got to talk to this guy, and um, she finally, you know, after we had a long conversation, you know, she finally said, well, maybe we need to get together sometime, you know what I mean? And I look at this girl straight, and I said, God, I'd love to, you know, but, uh, Caden Cookin's probably at least twice your age, if not more, you know what I mean? And, uh, she goes, well, age don't matter no more nowadays, you hear me? She said, the age don't matter no more. And I look at this girl straight, and I say, girl, age don't matter when it's three or four years, maybe, or five years, but when it gets to be 10, 15 years apart, then it starts to matter a little bit, you understand know I me? Mean? But don't get me wrong, I would love to, because, uh, 
you were one good looking gal, you know what I'm saying? And she was, she was a good looking gal, you know what I'm saying? And she said, well, get his my phone number, and uh, if you change your mind, give me a call. So I took her phone number and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, what the hell, you know? So I went ahead and took the goddamn phone number and everything, you know? And uh, she got up and went on about the business, and um. I said, God damn, that's a fine gal, you know what I mean? Now, my dick is like rock hard at this time, you know what I mean? You ever try to finish up a workout on a stationary bike with your dick rock hard? It ain't easy, I tell you. Any goddamn way, uh, y'all hit me up on the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and describe.